A common question I'm often asked is, can you help me reconnect with the self? I have been on retreat and I had the most amazing experiences and I felt really connected. And then as soon as I left the retreat, it was like back to square one. And um, I felt a million miles away from um, being in the higher self. So that question gets asked endlessly and my response usually goes along the lines of you know it wasn't that you became disconnected from the self rather it's your attention was taken into the story or into an episode of the story or into some idea um, or adventure that you are following and when you're in that you know it's kind of like entering a labyrinth you can you can get lost and then um, forget that the truth of who you are is prior to this story or this ep new episode of the story or the new adventure that relates to the story of being the small I the the personal I as opposed to the I am or the Supreme Self. So the question remains, you know, what to do when you feel disconnected or removed from, from the higher self? And the answer, the true answer is you can never be disconnected from the self. That is your true nature. That is your primary nature. And what happens is spiritual seekers hold on to their identity as being a spiritual seeker with the goal of trying to find some lofty state or some idea of what an enlightened person looks like with the goal of the person becoming enlightened. And the truth is that that can never happen because this, the person or the story of the person really has to go and there has to be the recognition that you are and the truth of who you are is prior to any story that you can make up, you know, no matter how compelling or enticing or wonderful or amazing or sad and sorry, um, you are that which witnesses and which sees the story and which reports, you know, those, those moments when you've got lost in the story and then you come back into the recognition of the self. So it's not the self that comes and goes, it's your attention that moves into this, this new storyline or an old storyline or, um, you know, goes on another adventure that links to whatever story you're trying to sort of uh, promote or keep going. So, so, so what I would say is just keep remembering, even when you've been lost in the story, that the self can never come and go. It's always right here. It is never changing. It isn't subject to any kind of movement. It is your true nature. That is who you are. And the story manifests or expresses itself out of the truth of the one self. So just remembering that and holding on to that and telling yourself in those moments when you feel like you're disconnected, there can be no disconnection. This is all, again, a story that the mind makes up. Um, and that will really help. So I hope this little prompt helps you and uh, helps you remember the truth of the one self and that you are always the self no matter what and the self can never be lost or disconnected because it is who you are and what you are and it never ever comes and goes. So that's all from me for now, for today. Take it easy, be well, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.